Hey, what's up? It's me, Gennard, and I want to welcome you to Toroge Pro YouTube channel. I have a new video for you today, and this is all about our browsers saving credit card, debit card information every time you buy something online. In our generation today, most of us are buying items online, and we are using our credit card, debit card, what kind of card you're using out there to buy something online. And for me, like 50% of the time, I buy my items online because it's easier to look for this item, check the specifications before I buy them. It's a more comfortable way to buy things you need online. It doesn't matter what browser you're using. Is it uh, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, or Brave? They have a feature that they can save this credit card information into the browser. And then they have the autofill feature that the next time you're going to buy something online and you're going to use that credit card, it will autofill this information so that you are not going to put in those credit card information again. That is a very good feature with these browsers, but it comes with a security risk. Are you willing to sacrifice to save like a few seconds of putting that credit card information there with a security risk like this. Number one, if you bought something online and you use your credit card or debit card, this information will be saved there so that the next time you're going to buy, you're going to put that one. So let's just say it's saved there. Maybe somebody gained access to your computer or your laptop and then they figured it out that they can use the credit card information to buy something online without your permission. Second thing, your phone or your computer got stolen and they gain access to that computer again and they were able to do some sort of purchasing with that credit card that is saved there. Third one, you sold your computer or your phone, you forgot to unlink or remove those accounts where that credit card information is saved. Again, they can use that one. And then maybe the fourth, you're letting one of your family member use your computer, especially for kids or your younger brother with your phone, they are playing with it, and then some sort of ads. There are a lot of advertisement with games, especially free play, and then they click on this one, and then they, they got redirected to a website, and they start clicking on things, and they're starting to purchase something without your authorization, and then they bought something with your credit card. So those are the risks that you might probably be having soon. I wanna show you how you can remove this one and refrain from saving those credit card information into your browser. Now the example we're going to do is uh, let's look into your Brave browser in the Google Chrome browser. So let's jump into my computer and I'm going to show you how you can refrain from letting this happen to you. Bam! Let's start with Google Chrome. Open this one up. On the upper right corner, there's three dots. Click that one and then see settings. Click this. This is my account, Torogo Pro. And then scroll down. There's autofill. Now we're going to go to payment methods. Click it and then you can see this option. We can turn that one on or off. So if you are going to turn that one on, the credit card info will be here. I have used this one to purchase something in Google Play. So it's saved on my account. Now if you want to delete that one, we go to Google account. And then here you can see the card that I'm using. You can click remove and this will be gone but that's up to you uh, you want the card to stay there you can let it be there and you can turn off the autofill let's go back and I want to show you also the password so that additional info here you can turn off every time you log into a website it's going to ask you to save the password you can turn this one off so that you will not accidentally save those password in the website you are logging in so you can turn this one off and then auto sign in also you can close that one we can go back and then even the address we can remove this one this is for kind of privacy issues you can remove that one also if you want to you can toggle that setting here on off uh, okay so let's just keep that one turned off and that's it for google chrome let's go and see how we can turn this brave also same upper right corner settings and then here on the left pane you can see advanced autofill and then you can see same options password again so that the browser will not ask you to save the password let's turn this one off and even auto sign in back 
payment methods let's turn the auto fill off same with google chrome nothing saved on my account here so it's safe and lastly the address also off and then we're good to go for the real ones out there like this video as it helps this channel grow and if it's your first time in my youtube channel don't forget to hit the subscribe and then share it to your friends once again it's me Junard. our channel is Droga pro and i hope to see you in my next video